up y'all it's your girl Simone Charisse and today in this video we are going to be fixing the hell out of this lace frontal this is how it came and it needs a lot of TLC and plug-in so to get started you want to go ahead and get a water bottle or mousse or something <laughs> wet to kind of go ahead and spray on the edges and then I'm going to go ahead and just tweeze and pluck now for this video I am not going to go in depth with how I pluck because I have so many videos on this. So instead, I'm going to link a very detailed video of how I pluck my method right on the top in the upper right corner. But my method is pretty much the same and I really just wanna make sure that I get rid of this harsh line because the line of the frontal is what will make it look natural. So when it's that straight line, we all know you're wearing a wig. This hair is from Yolissa. It came as bundles with a frontal and I went ahead and I, I made it into a wig using my sewing machine. This process took a total of 34 minutes. I timed it. A whole lot of hair came out, so do not be alarmed if you are plucking your frontal and you're like, wow, this is way too much hair. A lot of hair came out. Now, with this frontal, what bothered me the most was the fact that I had to bleach the knots twice. So if you can see, the knots were bleached at this point, but I could still see the knots. They weren't as invisible to me. They weren't as small. So after I finished plucking, I did go ahead and re-bleach the knots again, and the second time did the job. Remember guys, as you're plucking, do not pluck too much because you will create bulb spots, okay? So make sure you're keeping track of how much you're plucking. But this was my end result after I bleached the knots twice. So you can see it's a little bit lighter, the knots are not as apparent. They're a little bit kind of gone, okay? So this is how inside of the unit looks. I did not use a, a headband to go ahead and keep the wig on my head. Instead, instead, I went ahead and I used my other method that I've been using when I'm a little bit lazy. I get a little brush and I just brush back my edges, make sure they're not in the way. And then I search for that first braid because we're going to be kind of sewing down the wig on this braid. Now when I say sew down the wig, we ain't really sewing down the wig. But we're gonna be doing a very small stitch. Like even if you don't know how to sew guys, this is something that you can do. Cause all you're doing really is poking the needle through. Loop, poking the needle through. See, see. And pull. Okay, we gonna do that one more time. See, well, <laughs> I'm a little bit in shambles. And then we're gonna pull, cut it off, and then you wanna knot this about twice, and that's it. And we're gonna do that to the other side. So the reason why I do this method is because I don't really wanna use glue, and sometimes I don't wanna use gel. For this video, we're not gonna be using then glue or gel. So I do this when I'm really just like, I want my wig to stay on for about two to three days, but I don't wanna have to keep reapplying glue and gel. So I kinda just do this. So you can see it's nice and tight on my head. Well, not tight, but it's nice and on my head. I'm gonna be using the hot comb. As you guys see, I am using a cordless hot comb. I use the one that comes with the little oven. I will have it linked below. It works so much better than the one that you plug in the wall because it gets really hot. The problem is it gets too hot. So make sure you're not keeping it in the oven for too long, but it gets the job done. And I don't have to worry about the cord breaking because with the other brands, I had like four to five of those hot combs and I was getting tired of buying them. So this one does the job very well. And as you see, I am combing it back after I have combed um, hot combs each section down. This makes it lay nice and flat. And that my best friend, 
it's gonna be mousse you know that already <laughs> i love my mousse <laughs> so i'm gonna just put a whole lot on my head and i like to just smush it back and this for me is studying the hair. This is what makes the hair just, I don't know. It just lays nice and flat and it stays nice and, it just listens to me. It becomes obedient, <laughs> okay? It becomes obedient. I don't know why, it just does. And don't use a scissors this big. I can't find my hair scissors for the life of me. And then I'm gonna just go ahead and scoop out baby hairs. We're not gonna keep them like this, but I'd like to scoop them out dramatically before I uh, tie it down because it helps to push the hairs in those direction. Later on, we're gonna kind of scoop them back a little bit. And then I'm gonna use foundation because I feel like the lace was just a little bit, it just wasn't matching Simone's skin color. So I had to go ahead and just uh, add a little bit of foundation to that and then I just did a cute little two little ninja knot buns on top of my head Which is a very new style for me because you guys have never seen me do this, but I told y'all 2019 <laughs> I'm so dramatic 2019 about to be a new year for me. So I'm trying new things. All right new things and This is my end result Do I have a tutorial on the makeup? I do not but I did like the hair from your list. This is the hair in this natural state. The curl pattern is gorgeous. Like, I don't like curly hair. You guys know this. But this, this loose wave, this is amazing. I loved it. It was soft. The front still took a little bit of work, but that's okay. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys in my next one.